Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to day five. We've been in five days with this daily discussions, daily talk. And so welcome. Today's talk is about taking rest. And so this is something that I typically struggle with. I'm getting better, but getting rest. Uh, I will let you know that all of the roosters, my neighbor's roosters, my own roosters are going absolutely bonkers right now, crowing. So there might be a lot of crowing in this video. I have to switch hands because it's like 30 degrees out here and my hands are a little bit nippy. Um, rest is something that I typically, historically, have had a hard time with. Not like going to sleep at night. I'm good at that. I can fall asleep, no problem. My problem is finding that, that rest rest, something that the Bible talks about as a Sabbath. Now, some people think of the Sabbath as a mandatory day that you have to take off to not work for the sake of it being a rule to not do. But there's also the perspective or the context of taking a day as not a, not a rule or something you have to do, but as something that you get to do. And I had to learn about this from a friend of mine. I've read a couple of books on it and talked to some people who know way more than me about it. And Sabbath was never meant to be a law to uphold. Or maybe at one point it was meant to be that. But in modern context, it's meant to be as a reward for something that you've done, which is working hard through the week. You work hard through the week, you are rewarded with a time of rest, a Sabbath. And so for me, uh, coming to, to terms with that has been in the past pretty difficult. I'm getting better at it. Uh, I try to take, uh, well, through my church, because I work with, I work in my, you know, at my church, um, we take Sunday evening through Monday afternoon, about a 22 hour period for Sabbath. And that's something that you're expected to, to rest. You're expected to spend time with family, to do things that bring enjoyment and restoration. Um, just occurred to me, maybe rest stands for, or is short for restoration. Um, I, I'm reading one book right now where it talks about um, what is the recreation. So in having recreation, something that you do, if you, if you pronounce the word slightly different, it's recreation. When you do something that is a recreation for you, maybe a hobby or spending time with family or for me, I like to camp or be outdoors. Um, that's a recreation, but it is a recreation of you. It is something that helps you recreate or restore who you are. So that's what I love about that, um, that idea of the Sabbath. Now, you know, the uh, Jewish people celebrate Sabbath or observe Sabbath, I should say, on Saturdays, and that's fine. But from my understanding, uh, from my limited understanding, that's what the the Torah teaches is that like it's a Saturday thing. You take the Saturday and you don't work and you don't do anything. You rest. Um, Christians typically take Sunday as their Sabbath. Um, but really, a Sabbath can be any day of the week in which you take a moment or a day to rest. It doesn't have to be a full 24 hour period, but it needs to be a significant amount of time that you, that you're dedicating toward it. It's all about, from my understanding, from my gathering, it's all about the heart posture. Are you resting because you have to, or are you resting because you get to? Uh, I want to say there's a study out there, but that's probably incorrect, but I feel like there's a study out there or Something like, if you work seven days a week, you will absolutely burn out really quick. But if you work six days a week 
and take a full day to rest, to recreate, to figure out what you need to do in order to stay healthy, you'll get more accomplished in those six days of work than if you work seven days a week. So it's not all about working seven days a week. Now, if you go back further on, uh, I have another YouTube channel. If you go back on that YouTube channel, you would find videos that are like, grind your face off, work till your eyes bleed. That's totally the wrong message, like, wrong message. Recreation. Recreate yourself, get healthy, rest. So I don't know what your period of rest is. Maybe you don't rest. Maybe you're in a seven days a work, uh, seven days a week work schedule. I would just uh, encourage you to find a time during the week. Maybe it's only five hours, but during that five hours, you're intentionally resting, not just sleeping. It could be sleep. Maybe two hours of it is sleep, but the rest of the time is intentionally resting. For me, I like to play strategy board games with my kids um, after I physically sleep. So I sleep for an hour or two uh, on Sunday eve afternoon, evening time, and then we play board games into the night. And that's something that is very recreational. It recreates me and my kids. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, Jack. What's up, Jack? Jack likes to nibble. They're not used to the camera being here, so they're a little very alert. Good boy. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Good boys. Find that time. Spend that time. Observe it. Enjoy it. If you don't want to, don't. Your life, not mine. I'm just trying to share the things that have been working for me in hopes that maybe they'll work for some other people. But as for now, it's time to get to work. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate your time. And I will see you on tomorrow's video.